will take on Collingwood in the preliminary final like the Hawks beat the Sydney Swans by 36 points in the second semi-final at the MCG on Friday night. Alistair Clarkson's been with 46 points up during the third quarter and although the Swans narrowed the margin to 18 late in the late that quarter, Hawthorne prevailed 19-8, 122 to 13-8, It was the Hawks' first finals victory since it beat Geelong in the 2008 Grand Final. West Coast Cinderella story will have another chapter after a thrilling three-point win over Carlton in a classic semi-final at Patterson Stadium on Saturday night. In a memorable September match that went down to the wire, a handful of young Eagles made heroes of themselves to send the club through to a preliminary final clash with Geelong next Saturday at the MCG. The 15-11-101-15-8-98 triumph was West Coast's first finals win since its 2006 Premiership and since it first September clash with Geelong since the 1994 Grand Final. That was my rap for West Coast versus Carlton. Good evening. Collingwood has reaffirmed its position as Premiership favourite with a crushing 41-point win over top four rival Hawthorne at the MCG. Travis Cloak led the way with three goals, while for the Hawks, Luke Hodge had 40 possessions. Ready to celebrate their skipper's milestone match, the Pies withstood an early Hawk attack before applying some pressure of their own. His confidence should be high. Oh, it's dying. In typical Collingwood style, the reigning Premiers took control. He just goes for home. Hawthorne working hard but held goalless in the first. Buddy Franklin finally breaking through in the second. He finishes up with a footy outnumbered. He kicks a goal. But the Magpies continued to press, piling on four goals to two. And now Brown oh, makes something else happen. Collingwood up by 39 at the half. More pain for Hawthorne in the third. Friendly fire had Jordan Lyle seeing stars. Josh Gibson another casualty just minutes later. And while the Hawks rallied late in the quarter... This would be the goal of the day for the Hawks. Well played, young man. They still trailed by 46 at three-quarter time. An injury scare to Travis Cloak, the Pies' only concern. I think he may have hurt his left shoulder. Collingwood romping away to another impressive win. Jackie Reid for Sports Tonight. Geelong has already put last night's eight-point loss against West Coast behind it, flying straight to the Gold Coast to prepare for next Sunday's clash against Brisbane. A blistering first half from the Eagles saw the Cats slump to their consecutive losses for the first time since 2009. David Wojcicki was the only Cat to return home today as his teammates flew straight to the Gold Coast. But it was the Eagles who were flying high last night, showing they're a genuine top four contender. Working behind the a nine-goal blitz in the first half gave the Eagles the 35-point lead at the main break. And while the Cats surged back into the game, it proved too little, too late. I think they kicked nine straight at one stage. 
without us kicking a goal. Um, we'll learn from that. We've got to get better than that because you can't allow good teams that sort of a run. And left ourselves with way too much to do. We've been pleased with our season to date, but um, you know we want to keep building towards what we've talked about all year and, and last year. We want to build up to a team that uh, potentially can win a premiership one day. Despite beating two top four teams in the past two weeks, Worsfold refused to be drawn on whether that premiership could come as early as this year. It's open. You never really know what's going to un unfold. So uh, we'll just keep attacking this season week in, week out, like we have been. And, um, challenge ourselves to keep improving. There were no casualties last night, but Brad Ottens could find himself in hot water after this hit on Mark Nikoski. Tim Francis for Sports Tonight.